Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink and also Chainlink is following my primary expectation here. Also for Chainlink, I didn't really give you a bullish scenario and the focus remained to the downside. I told you we can consider something more bullish above either 750 or 966, ideally above 966 because even a move above 750 wouldn't really take us out of this selling zone. So for now we are following here the bearish scenario, the primary expectation. We came down today, um, we moved down all the way to 567, we have recovered since then a little bit but um, so far we are moving down quite impulsively here after we finished off this Elliott Wave Triangle. Um, told you already here a couple of weeks ago that I expect we already made our wave one down, our wave two to the upside, wave three down. We even broke the wave one low. Good indication that we could indeed be in a wave three already. So basically we would be expecting just something like this now in a three, a four up and a five down. Um, it could become, yeah, this is obviously a fifth wave in which this happens. So this could become an, um, an ending diagonal. So it could take the form of, for example, a descending wedge. Let's see if that works out. Something like this, for example, yeah. Um, don't think it will look like that, but I think we're going to come down a bit lower in the wave three here. But so far, what would be the next support? In my opinion, next support will be here. Uh, this area around $5.30. and $5 Yeah, where we have this wave B low, uh, the wave three low here. So it's a massive support area. If we go below this, then I think we're going to fall much further. And what I can imagine might happen, and this might actually be a bullish scenario within the bearish one, if you want to call it like that. Obviously we had here this massive descending wedge on the chart, a massive one, which is a possible reversal pattern. Now we did break out of it, as you can see, but we didn't really have the bullish volume for it. Now it could be that in this wave five that you can see here, we are going to retest it from above. And as soon as wave five is complete, that we are then reversing to the upside. Okay, so it's just a little bit of a, a thought I had around this. Um, but in this move down, I would primarily expect a move down below the wave B low, which is here below 530. And this is ultimately also the breakout point for a triangle. In this case, it doesn't really make a difference because this is also the all time, well, not the all time low, but here the low um, from the 14th of June, which is pretty much the same low as from the 12th of May price wise. Yeah. So this 530 level will be significant support. Here I would expect a move up and then another move down to make another lower low. Could become obviously a triple bottom, also possible. Um, but for now I do further expect lower prices. We haven't really seen a bullish reaction. This is all currently going according to plan. So, and then on the flip side, when we start to move up, my view is that we first of all need to get, well, above that 750 high to get a bit more confidence that we are in an uptrend and then here above the wave A high at 967. So we have a very long way to go, a very long way to go. Yeah, and then we talk here about that wave B high at 1836. And then we talk about this one here at 2873. But again, we've got a long way to go. All right, and that is my view about Chainlink. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.